Welcome back, folks, for a new episode of Licked. Now, like the Chinook Kais, the AMX CDCs, and the Japanese Tiger 1s before it, the Skruda T40 introduced and signals the comings of the Czechoslovakian medium tank branch. Now, they released the whole list from tier 1 through 10 three months ago about these Czech tanks. So click on the bottom right picture to watch that original video about the history of these Czechoslovakian medium tanks and their design process. But recently, they released the models and stats of all these tanks. So today we'll cover the Tier 5 and Tier 6, the Skruda T24 and T25 of these Czechoslovakian medium tanks. So here's the history in a quick nutshell. The Skruda T24 and T25 were designed to combat Soviet-made T-34s and KV tanks. They were armed with a 75mm gun, has decent mobility, and sloped armor like that of a T-34. But the main reason that these two vehicles were not designed or produced was because the Panther project. The Panther was so much better with a better gun, bigger gun, and better armor. So yeah, the Panther was favored and these two tanks were out of the window. So that's a quick history about these two vehicles. A well-known blogger and proponent of the Czechoslovakian tanks, Silent Stalker, has written extensively on these two vehicles and many more. So I highly recommend you reading all his articles. I'll post them in the description below. So I highly recommend you checking him out and read about all these tanks because he done a lot of research about them, whereas I'm just covering a short, quick history. So these two tanks were pretty much medium tanks. They're designed to face T-34s, and they were not built because the Panther, so yada yada yada. But yeah, where they have the Skruda T-25 as a premium Tier 5 German tank. So these two tanks will become Czechoslovakian tanks, and the Skruda T-24 will have a single shot, whereas the T-25 will have an autoloader. So the T-24 plays more like a slower sniper-ish, Whereas the T25 plays more like a Chiri at tier 6. So today we'll cover the models and stats of these two vehicles. And here is the tier 5 Czechoslovakian medium tank, the Skruda T24, the lighter brother in comparison to the T25. So it has a forward mounted turret with a 75mm gun. It looks like a tier 5 version of a VK 3002D the tier 7 German medium tank before the Leopard 1. So it's not that bad looking. Has a signature German cupola, the cylinder cupola that's on the Panzer IV and Tiger P's, so the bulging cupola. Now surprisingly enough, this cupola is actually the thickest part of armor on this vehicle. It's about 90-ish millimeters, whereas the frontal plate is only 50 millimeters. So yeah. This tank has no armor. The matlet is not that big either, and the frontal turret is pretty flat. So this thing gets pretty much penetrated all the time, unless you hit the matlet. But eh, it's a medium tank. It's quite shifty, so use the speed. So here are the collision models, as well as early renders of this vehicle. As you can see with the collision models, this tank has no armor. The cupola is the thickest armor part about this vehicle. So shooting here probably will bounce if you hit the sides, but it's still 95 millimeters for tier five. Uh, it's okay, I guess, but the frontal plate is only 50 millimeters. That's bad. You have a 60 millimeters provided by these two squares, which are the track links, but the spare track links will not provide you with extra armor, that much extra armor. So yeah, 30 millimeters at the sides is pretty bad or 40 ish for the, these track links, but not that much. So this tank has no armor whatsoever. So it has to rely on speed to get out of situations or sniping accuracy of the gun. So here are the main stats for the Skruda T24. It's a tier 5 medium tank, has 450 hit points, which is average. Engine power is 450, 
weighs about 20 tons with equipments. So power to weight ratio with equipments is 23 or so. Pretty good. So this thing is quite fast to shift. Top speed is 58 kilometers per hour. Very good. Reverse is 18. Pretty good. So this thing is quite mobile. Hull traverse is 40 degrees per second. Turn traverse is 41.7 degrees per second. It turns pretty well in comparison to the tier 5 German medium tank, the T25, the German version, which that thing feels a little bit sluggish in terms of turning because that thing has 30 degrees of hull traverse per second. So that sucks. But yeah, these traverses are very good. Terrain resistance is 1.24 for hard, 1.43 for medium, and 2.0 for soft. This is slightly below average, I believe. It feels a little bit sluggish in swamps, but it should be alright. But I think it's below average. A good terrain resistance for a tier 5 medium tank should be 1.0 for hard, 1.2 or 1.3-ish for medium, and 1.9 or so for soft. So this thing is a little bit less than average. View range is 350 meters, fine. Radio range is way above standard, so 740, so that's pretty good. Hull armor is 50 at the front, 30 at the sides, and 30 at the rear. Non-existent, turret armor is the same. Non-existent, so armor-wise, it has no armor. You have to rely on the speed and maneuverability of this vehicle to save you and kill your opponents as well. So that's quite all right. The gun is a 75 mm gun, a single shot, fires AP, APCR, and high explosive, 132 mm of penetration with standard AP. That's quite good for a tier 5 medium tank. The Sherman has 128 mm or 110 ish. So this has above average penetration. The tank destroyers at tier 5 has 150-ish millimeters at best, I believe. So that's quite good, unless you're playing with a toaster. The toaster has 200 millimeters, but that's out of the question. So yeah, penetration is above average for a tier 5 medium tank. Damage is 110, so average. Rate of fire is only 10.8 rounds per minute. That's... Yeah, that's kind of bad. The DPM is only 1,186. Ooh. It takes about 5.56 seconds to shoot one round, which deals 110 damage. That's bad. The DPM is really, really bad. It has the average DPM of tier 5 medium tank should be... 1,600 or 700 or so, but that's a really bad DPM. Accuracy is 0 0.36, quite good. Game time is 2.4 seconds, a little bit long, but workable, workable. Gun depression is 10 degrees, 20 degrees of gun elevation. What really surprises me is the, the DPM. <laughs> that's really bad. The vehicle is fast but has no armor, so this vehicle should be played as a fast-moving, side-strafing or circle-strafing vehicle, medium tank. But the DPM is just so bad. It can only stick to sniping if the DPM is so low, because you cannot go brawling. You cannot out-DPM your opponents and kill them quickly while circle-strafing them. But... The accuracy is pretty decent, so you have to snipe with this vehicle. The penetration is above average, so sniping is the best suit to this vehicle. The DPM is just... Ugh. And let's compare the Skruda T24 with the good old M4A1 Sherman. So armor-wise, it's pretty much the same armor for the hull. About 50-ish millimeters at the front, so the frontal armor is about the same. Side armor is about the same, 38 to 30. So yeah, armor is pretty crap. Well, then again, it's a medium tank, so whatever. But the good thing about the Sherman is the matlet. The matlet is pretty big. 
so you might be able to troll a few shots with a mantlet, whereas on the Skuda T24, the mantlet is not that big. So, yeah. The armor is better, slightly better on the Sherman. But let's compare the other stats. So, horsepower to ton ratio is pretty goddamn good. 23.32. So, the power to weight ratio is way better than the average, which is 15.12. So, this thing does go around pretty quickly and circle strafe. So, top speed is pretty good as well, way above average. Reverse is above average, the same as the Sherman. That's good. Hull Traverse is above average. Good. Turret Traverse is above, above average. Good. Nice. Terrain resistance, however, below average for all of them. Oh boy. Yeah, this thing has pretty bad terrain resistance. So circle strafing is only viable on city maps or hard terrains like concrete or dirt. I think dirt is hard unless it's medium, but whatever. So this thing does have a slow time in swampy ground. So don't get bogged down that much. That sucks. All right, but it does have a very good power to weight ratio to balance out. So that's a plus. Hull armor, yeah, non-existent. Same goes for Sherman. Turret armor is better on the Sherman because of the mantlet, so ick. View range, average, so that's good, but the Sherman has better view range, so that sucks. Radio range, above average, good. So this tank does feel fast, but remember, it has only about 20 tons, so getting rammed is bad, like with a KV-1. So don't go ramming into other stuff like a Sherman or even KV-1s, so yeah, this tank is light. Has a 75mm gun. The penetration is way above average, so that's very good. The average is 107 millimeters, compared with the 76 millimeter on the Sherman. Yeah, has better penetration than the Sherman's gun, but the Sherman has crappy accuracy, so this thing is way better. So the accuracy is way better than the 0.41. That's very nice. Reloads, yeah, pretty long time. So. The gun is pretty decent, but the main downside, or downside, is the DPM. Only 1,200 or so, whereas the average DPM is 1,700. So this tank doesn't fire that quickly, and doesn't kill stuff quickly. So, circle strafing is turning out to not be that viable, because they pretty much out DPM you, and you're dead. The health is also below average. Whoa. But then again, I think that's premium tier 5 medium tank. So, uh, still, health is not that much. Only 450. So, yeah, the DPM is really bad. <laughs> Aim time is below average. So, that sucks. Gun depression, however, is pretty good. Above average. But it's no Sherman gun depression or elevation as well. So basically, this vehicle is good at circle strafing and scouting, active scouting, but has crappy armor and has crappy DPM. So you could snipe. Sniping is probably the best tactic with this vehicle, whereas circle strafing, active scouting is a side or somewhat lesser benefit of playing this vehicle or a key role of playing with this tank. So I would stick to sniping because the DPM is so low. You can only fire about 5.2 seconds per shot with the gun rammer and vents. So that's pretty bad for 110 alpha. That's yeah, the DPM is low. So don't go too yellow with this vehicle, even though it wants you to, because the power to weight ratio, the traverse is pretty good, the top speed is amazing, so this thing does feel pretty fast on hard terrain, but the DPM will not carry you, so basically you're active scouting for your team. That sucks. Ugh.
Hey, here is the Skuda T25, the tier 6 Czechoslovakia medium tank. So the heavier brother in comparison to the T24. Now it's basically the tier 5 version of the German premium medium tank. It has a different hull because the machine gun is placed where the radio operator is, whereas the original hull has the machine gun in the middle, like that of the T24. But it's a small detail. So this vehicle is basically like the tier 5 German premium tank. Has the sloped hull, but the armor is not that good, so don't expect to bounce that many shots. Has uh, th this shape, the trapezoid shape of a turret, so yeah, it's not going to bounce that many shots. Has the rounded mantlet, but this vehicle is basically a duck looks like a duck it's fine it doesn't look that bad but this is the german version as you can see the machine gun is placed at the middle has a rounded mantlet and the smaller machine guns and viewports on the turret so the turret is basically the same whereas the hull is a little bit different so small difference but whatever and here are the collision models and early renders of the t25 as you can see, the armor is only 50 at the front, so no armor yet again. Side armor is about 30-ish, so yeah, no armor. The mantlet is somewhat bigger, but the turret is also bigger, so lack of armor. You're not going to bounce that many shots with this vehicle, so you cannot go haul down because the mantlet is not that big. The turret is also pretty big. So yeah. But here are the main stats for the Skuda T25. So it's a tier 6 now. Has 770 health. Which is decent. Pretty fair. Engine power is 500 horsepower for 23.3 tons. The power to weight ratio is not as good as the tier 5 counterpart. But 21.36 is pretty decent. So top speed is 60 kilometers per hour. Very good. Reverse is 20. This thing goes in a straight line pretty quickly. So that's very nice. Hull traverse is the classic tier 5 T25. The 30 degrees per second. This is slow. I have the T25 for the German tier 5 premium tank. That version of this vehicle does feel quite slow to turn even though it can move pretty fast in a straight line so this hull traverse is pretty bad but it's all right tur traverse is 37.5 degrees eh, below average but still okay the terrain resistance is a lot better than the tier 5 scooter t24 0.95 for hard 1.05 for medium and 1.8 for soft so that's good that's around the average of tier 6 medium tanks, so fair. View range is 360 meters, average, okay. Radio range is above average, 740. Hull armor is 50 at the front, 35 at the sides, and 35 at the rear. Non-existent. Same goes for the turret. So armor is pretty much crap. And the mantlet is not that big, so it's a big surface area to get shot at and get penetrated. 75mm gun, the same gun, but except you have an auto loading system with this vehicle. Fires AP, APCR, and high explosive. 132mm of penetration with standard AP, and 185 with APCR. So, average penetration-ish for a tier 6 medium. Alpha is a little bit low, 110 damage, but it fires 3 rounds in 2 seconds. So it takes 1 second per round to load in, in the clip. And you have three shots in the clip, so 330 damage per whole clip. That's not that bad of a burst damage for a tier 6 medium tank. Remember, it's a tier 6. So you're facing tier 4s like Matildas and Stuarts and Stug 3s. Yeah. 330 is sufficient enough. So DPM is off the charts. 2276. That might be the best DPM for a tier 6 medium tank. That's crazy good. <laughs> That's insane. Rate of fire is 20.66 rounds per minute. So I think, like the Cherry at tier 7, this vehicle could mount a gun rammer and vents to help with the DPM. If you could do that, 
this thing could have the same DPM as the Tiger 1 at tier 7. Yeah, <laughs> insane. So, reloads is 8.7 seconds if you count the autoloader system. So, two more rounds for one second each. So, that's two seconds to your reload. So, basically, 8.7 seconds for 330 damage or 6.4 seconds with the gun rammer. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Accuracy 0 0.345, very good. Aim time 1.8 seconds. Gun depression is 10 degrees. Elevation is 20 degrees. So, the gun's pretty insane. Yeah. If you could fit a gun rammer and vents, even better, but it's already insane enough. The Sherman EZ8 has 2,100 DPM or so, so this thing has better DPM than the classic Sherman tank. So, that's crazy. You have a high burst, high DPM vehicle without armor, and the hull traverse is not that good. So, it's like a, well, smaller, lower tier Lorraine 40T. So, it's like a mini Lorraine 40T at tier 6, or Cherry than the tier 7 Japanese medium tank. But this gun is pretty goddamn awesome. <laughs> And let's compare the Shkuda T25 with the Sherman EZ8, one of my favorite tier 6 medium tanks. So armor wise, it's better on the Sherman, way better. 100mm for the lower plate, 64 sloped for the middle, and the mantlet could go up to 200mm effective on the Sherman. The T25 cannot compare, only 50 at the front, 35 at the sides, and 35 at the rear, so yeah armor is non-existent on the T25. Let's compare the other stats. So it has more health than the average by 15 or so. Eh, it's not that much but still above average. Horsepower per ton ratio is pretty good. 21.36 in comparison to 16.93 for the average. So this thing does move pretty quickly. Rev up. Top speed is 60 kilometers per hour. Way above average. So this thing is pretty fast in a straight line. Reverse is 20, that's good. The hull traverse is below average by a lot, only 30 degrees per second. So this thing does move pretty quickly in a straight line. It does not turn pretty well. So it's like the tier five, T25. So be warned, this thing makes wide circles. So it takes a lot, a lot of time to turn around in a gigantic circle to circle strafe. So Circle strafing is still not that good of an idea. Now it's based on the hull traverse, not the DPM. So, blah. All right, turret traverse is eh, below average, but not that much. So fair. Terrain resistance is below average for the hard, above average for the medium and soft. So yeah, pretty good. The only downsides to the mobility is the hull traverse. So ick. View range is below average by 3 meters, so that's whatever, that's fine. Radio range is pretty good, 740, so that's good. Hull armor and turret armor is non-existent. So mobility wise, it's pretty mobile, but don't not, yeah, do not ask it to turn around and make circles pretty quickly or make donuts that well because the crazy bad hull traverse for a medium tank. Mobility is fine. Just play like a sniper, you'll be okay. Or play like a burst uh, assassin. Yeah, that'd be good. Has a 75 millimeter gun, fires AP, APCR, and high explosive. 132 millimeters of penetration, which is below average, but not that much. Only 110 alpha though, so it doesn't have high alpha, but it has crazy good DPM because this thing reloads every 6.7 seconds has three shots in the magazine and takes about one second to reload between each shot. So it's basically 8.7 seconds reload for 330 alpha. That's pretty goddamn good for a tier six medium tank. So DPM is off the charts. Awesome. Accuracy, very good, 0.34 in comparison to the average, which is 0.36. So very good accuracy, very good aim time too. 1.82 seconds, so pretty quick to aim, pretty accurate. 10 degrees of gun depression, 20 elevation. 
I think this tank has the best DPM for a tier 6 medium. I believe. Let's compare with the Cromwell. Oh, then again, the Comet has the best DPM. I don't know about the Cromwell. So, DPM wise, uh, yeah, not as good as the Sherman. Bull. Anything else that has high DPM for. Well, the Russians. Yeah, don't forget the Russians, man. T3485s. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I think it's the high alpha. Oh boy. So yeah, the DPM might be the best DPM of tier 6 medium tank. And I believe you could fit a gun rammer to this vehicle, like the Chiri. So let's look up the Chiri. As you can see with the Chiri, it has the autoloading cannon, the 75mm as well. But this thing could fit a gun rammer unlike any other autoloading tanks, like the Bad Chats or the Lorraine. So this is the only... I believe it's the only autoloading tank with a gun rammer. So I believe the Skruda T25 could also have a gun rammer for this 75mm gun. And with the gun rammer, you could go up to 2500 DPM for a tier 6 medium tank. It reloads every 6.4 seconds. So that's insane. That's really insane. The Alpha is not that good, but combine three shells into one, that's 330 alpha. That's a tier 8 heavy tank's alpha for a tier 6 medium tank, and takes about the same time for it to fire. Oh, this might be a keeper. This might be a keeper. And the final opinion about the Skruda T24 and T25 is the T24 has very good mobility for a tier 5 medium tank at the cost of DPM has only 1,200 DPM for a tier 5 medium tank, with the average is 1,700. So the DPM is a really big letdown on the tier 5 Czechoslovakian medium tank. So the Skruda T24 is not really worth it to keep because the armor is not that good and lacks the DPM. So basically you're playing a light tank, a big light tank. So yeah, tier 5 is not worth it in my opinion. But the tier 6, the Skruda T25, that's a keeper. That's actually a very good medium tank. The best DPM, I believe, for a tier 6 medium. Very close to the Sherman EZ8, but it could fit a gun rammer as well, I believe. If it can't fit a gun rammer with a crazy DPM of the 75mm gun, it's worth it not to have armor whatsoever so yeah the gun is crazy on the Skruda t25 but it's coming at the cost of no armor and the hull traverse is only 30 degrees per second so it doesn't turn that well but who needs turning speed or circle strafing if you can just burst the vehicle down burst your opponents down with three clips of 110 alpha so basically 330 damage in i don't know two seconds that's crazy good. That's actually pretty insane for a tier 6 medium. You'll be fighting Matildas. Tier 4 medium tanks. Or tier 4 tanks like Stewards and uh, freaking Stug 3s. And basically you killed them in like th uh, 2 seconds. So... <laughs> that's The tier 6 is a keeper. Trust me on it. The gun is amazing. Basically play it as a low tier... French assassin tank. It's not even French. French has low DPM, but they have high burst damage. This thing has high burst damage and high DPM, so that's crazy good. The tier 6 is a keeper, the tier 5 is skippable. So that's my opinion. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll cover the future or tier 7, tier 8, tier 9s, and tier 10s coming soon of the Czechoslovakian medium tanks. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.